Hello class, this is section 4.2. In this video, we are going to demonstrate an example of solving a system of differential equations using differential operators. The first thing we have to do is to convert this system of differential equations to the differential operators notation. So we rewrite the primes as d's. dx equals minus 5x plus 3y and dy equals minus y minus x. Next thing to do is to move everything to the left side. And remember, we prefer to have the x term first and then the y term. So we can have dx plus 5x plus 3y equals 0, or minus 3y rather. And similarly with the other equation, so remember we want the x term first, we have x plus dy plus y equals 0. Alright, so this is our equation and we can factor out the terms that are by x and by y. Let's label um, the first equation as Roman numeral 1 and the second equation as Roman numeral 2. Okay. And the next step is, of course, to subtract the two equations appropriately. Let's try to eliminate the x term first. In that case, so we can notice that the first equation, minus d plus 5 times the second equation, is going to get us d plus 5 minus d plus 5 x plus minus 3 minus d plus 5 d plus 1 y equals 0 and what this ends up with is that the d plus 5 terms here cancel of course and on the right hand side, we get minus d squared plus 6d plus 8y equals 0. And uh, let's first convert it into the prime notation. And we can just ignore the minus sign, and we end up with y double prime plus 6y prime plus 8y equals 0. And we do the usual substitution, y equals ERT. This converts our differential equation to r squared plus 6r plus 8 equals 0. And this has solutions, r equals um, minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2. And this is just going to be either minus 2 or minus 4. And this means that our solutions for y are going to be e minus 2t and, and the solution for the second solution is e minus 4t. Um, and of course our general solution is then going to be y equals c1 e minus 2t plus c2 e minus 40. We can do a similar thing for eliminating x instead, uh, eliminating y instead. And you can see that we can eliminate x and eliminate y by taking the first equation, multiplying that by d plus 1, and subtracting the second equation, and multiplying that by minus 3. And you can um, do the math here and see that we end up with d plus 5, d plus 1, minus, minus 3, x equals 0. And the y term disappears, of course, and we end up with x double prime 
plus 6x prime plus 8x equals 0. And we can solve this exactly the same way to get that x equals c1. Well, let's call it, we have to name the constant a bit differently because this is a different constant. d1 e minus 2t plus d2 e minus 4t. Now you might notice again that the equations for x and y are the same, and this will always be true when our equations are homogeneous. See, when we have zeros on the right hand side, and there's no, there's no equation here that every term in this equation has either an x or y in it. So this is a homogeneous equation, and for homogeneous equations, the two equations you get for x and y will always be the same, and that's fine. Um, actually, actually, let's call this constant a bit, something a bit different since we used d already for something else. There you go, we call the constants k1 and k2 here. We're not done yet. Um, usually this method will result in there being more constants than necessary. So because we know that um, we end up with a second order equation, differential equation here, we expect there to be two constants rather than four. The la next step is to reduce the number of constants, and this is how we do it. So we take one of the two equations we started with. Um, let's take the first one. It makes no difference which one we use. So we, let's just use the first one. x prime equals minus 5x plus 3y. So we have that. x prime equals minus 5x plus 3y. The first thing we do is to take the derivative of x. So since x is k1 e minus 2t and k2 e minus 4t, x prime must equal to minus 2k1 e minus 2t minus 4k2 e minus 4t and we just use plug the plug in um, the equations we have uh, these three equations into our equation here and we end up with minus 2k1 e minus 2t minus 4k2 e minus 4t equals minus 5 times x which is just k1 e minus 2t plus k2 e minus 4t plus 3y. So plus 3 and our y is c1 e minus 2t plus c2 e minus 4t. And the next step is just to match their terms. So we have two types of terms here. There's a term with e minus 2t in it and a term with e minus 4t in it. So let's look at the e minus 2t terms. And that just gets us minus 2k1 equals minus 5k1 plus 3c1. And this means that we can solve this um, by moving all the k1s to one side. So we have 3k1 is equal to 3c1 which implies, of course, that k1 is equal to c1. That's our first equation we get. And let's look at the other term. The e minus 4t term will get us that minus 4k2 is equal to minus 5k2 plus 3c2. And that gives us an equation the form k2 equals 3c2. Finally, uh, what we can do is that we can replace all the k1s with c's, and that means that our final equation is going to be x equals, and the x changes, so x from a k1 to k2, replace them with c1 and c2 instead. So x equals c1 e minus 2t, and instead of k2, we have 3c2, plus 3c2 e minus 4t, and the y stays the same, so y equals c1 e minus 2t plus c2 e minus 4t. So as you can see, uh, what we have right now is a general solution for the system of differential equations that only has two constants, and this is where we end.